I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday, February 23rd. And on Wednesday morning about 10:30, everything changed in the cattle industry. Uh, when they started selling cattle five dollars higher at a buck 25, that just uh, threw everything on its ear. Uh, we were looking to hope, hopefully, maintain steady, uh, maybe a buck or two better. But uh, it just, uh, they jumped out there, Packers really tipped their hand, jumped out there and uh, started giving a lot more for cattle. And it's really changed the way we're going to look at going into the spring, going into the summer, uh, what the yearling market's going to be, what the calf market's going to be for grazing cattle and just everything. And then later on the board, of course, February spot fats had to go up big. They went up $2.20, but not as much as they could have or really should have. Got up to one twenty one thirty. That's still more than a $3 uh, basis there. Out fronts were up, but not, not as much as a dollar. Feeders were less than a dollar higher, but they gained some ground too. But that fed cattle exchange, which is really not that big of a deal. I mean, almost any feeder cattle auction you drive by, uh, sells as many or more cattle than the Fed Cattle Exchange, but it has really uh, changed this industry. And uh, when they sold their cattle, they sold most all of their 3,350 head with a weighted average of 122.10. And actually, the market got higher through that short sale with a high with a top of 124.50. Well, it emboldened that fat cattle market and. Uh, and the feedlots decided that they wanted at least that much or more for cattle, so they started giving 124, and then soon they're up to 125, and it was mostly 125, and that's four to mostly five dollars higher on a live basis. Dress sales six dollars higher at 196. You look at your feeder cattle auctions on Wednesday; they already reacted to that. El Reno had 8,300 head. Look at your Beef Market Central report out of El Reno there. And feeder steers steady to $2 higher. Feeder heifers steady to $5 higher. Calves were all higher too, but they had a lot better kind than they did a week ago. Look at some individual quotes on uh, Torrington, Wyoming there. They're selling these, these grazing cattle really high in Torrington this year. They had a half a load of 500 pound steers in Torrington uh, just after 4 o'clock on Wednesday, bring a buck 80. That's uh, getting up there pretty good. In El Reno, uh, individual quote, had a load of 808 pound steers almost six o'clock on Wednesday, late in the day after all this news had soaked in up to 131. And that 130 on, on a load lot of, of 800 pound steers has kind of been a measuring point that we, we didn't think we were ever gonna get to. And then we were there for a few weeks and then we've lost it. And now we're back there. And, and uh, actually El Reno is the only place that I saw got over 130 on load of eight weight steers on Wednesday. But uh, your real time index gained almost a full dollar at 127.34 on, on the addition of Wednesday sales and surpassed the CME feeder cattle index, which is just through Tuesday at 127.12. That's your feeder flash for Thursday.